A package has arrived from down Texas way from Dynatrack. I think this may have gone through uh, New Mexico because it says Frajile. It says Frajile over there. So apparently there's Frajile in here. I, I don't know what that is. I didn't go and translate it. Uh, but let's go ahead and open this up. I can't wait because you already know based on the title. We have seen the exemplary packaging jobs that Dynatrack does on the boxes that he ships from the uh, package he sent with the tab. So we already know this is going to be really well packed. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got here. Air boobies. We have a package. We have another package, which is the Parts Clark. We'll look at that first. There's a note. And the rest in here just appears to be packing material. But take a look. With the styrofoam in the box, I don't know what you can see, what you can't. All kinds of good stuff. So yeah, once again, absolutely fantabulous. Okay. The note, let me just look at that very quickly. Oh, it's handwritten. Yep. Let me just see what this says. It says Dynatrack non quartz clocks, December 9th, 2022. JK18, I hope the clocks arrived without damage. This was a fun project. Thanks for sending it to me for repairs. I hope you get many decades of enjoyment from the GE alarm clock, Dynatrack. Thank you very much. Let us take a look at the non Quasarts parts clock. Uh, here we are. Complete with the cord. So this is the one that, wow, that's really knackered. <laughs> the good one is in the good one. So, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Definitely the same model, everything like that. Let's set that aside. Even with a very nice cord wrap, like that, that's what I've been tending to do in packing up uh, cords, is just giving them the nice old wrap like that. Oh yeah, bubble wrap abound, followed by more bubble wrap inside of a padded envelope yeah well, that's good because i think i have another package to send out to somebody else in the future so i will save this box and do that and jd's and lentilman wow Holy shit! Damn! Look at that! Look at the difference! And polishing that plastic up just brought out the friggin' wood grain on there. Not a speck of dust. Nothing. This was the, the original... This, this is the original one. And the clock movement from here has been transplanted. Uh, it's beautiful all around. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll set these up. I'll plug them both in because I can. And I don't know if this is hooked up. If it is, good. If it's not, it's not. And that's fine. I'm not going to bother setting the time now. Uh, I guess I kind of could. 
we're going backwards. This is going to be a while because there is no way to set this any faster. There it is, finally. <laughs> so let's undo the cords, and uh, I guess I'll spare you that, and we'll get these plugged in. I have shut the room lights out, so all we have is whatever light coming in through the window, and we'll go ahead and apply power. Yep, um, it lights up. This clock, I do not remember lighting up when I was a kid. I seem to vaguely remember there was sort of a reddish glow, but it was always, always very dim. So maybe it was one of those that was like made on a Friday or something. Um, we have advanced to 1248, so we'll leave that there. The other one, I do not know if um, the clock is hooked up. Uh, if it is, it isn't. Let's see if the radio on it works. It made a sound. So, anyway, we have that. We'll wait for this clock to flip over. But I never remembered seeing that. Now, of course, the camera is making this brighter than it actually is. Um, but it's still very, very readable. It's just a subtle orangish red neon glow. And you cannot see it, I don't believe. I can't tell on the camera screen. But I can see a reflection of the bulb. There it went. Beautiful. That's really nice. Let me uh, bring you over here. And I gotta lower this here just a bit so I can zoom in on that beautiful clock. That is just fantastic. Never, ever, ever <laughs> do I remember it even lighting up anywhere near that good. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> and it just rolled over the minute like it was supposed to just gorgeous all around that was fantastic so we'll set the new one aside for the moment let's just see for fun it's on I don't remember which knob is which that's tuning that's probably a.m. 97.5 all right well the radio in it works not much better probably than the original that comes in reasonably they're supposedly starting production on the sequel to Dirty Dancing this spring. It's our 80s weekend on Long Island's KJOY 98.3. Well, that's Susan right there. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll find another station that's talk. Barely comes in. Now we're at the end of the scope. Okay, I got a better idea. I'll make my own FM radio station. How about that? So we got a flash drive in there, broadcasting on 91.3, just because it worked. I don't remember what brand this is. We'll put a link in the prescription to it, just because. So that's broadcasting FM. Completely portable on the jump pack, and now... Yeah, 
so we got that. Now, let's see. So the radio on that works. I don't have this tuned exactly right. Somewhere there is good. Turn this down. Yeah. Might be overdriving it slightly for the aged capacitors. Pretty good. So yeah, we can play stupid uh, royalty-free music all day. We might be going through another song. Yeah. Now in stereo. But enough of the old one. That's good as a radio for what it is. I didn't see if the time changed. I don't think it did because it's the whole mechanism was knackered. But um, yeah, let's get back to the subject at hand. Wow. Um, if you have not seen Dynatrack's restoration of this unit then I strongly suggest you go to his channel and check it out. There are going to be links in the prescription to, uh, oh, there it goes, rolled right over to one. All three digits. Beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's nice. Now this radio, I'll turn that like way down. This clock radio was my mother's when I was a kid growing up. I don't have the sound floor here to demonstrate this, but the clock actually does make noise, a very slight noise. You could just, you can't even hear it run. Only when it changes digits will you hear about five seconds before just a until the digit changes and then it kind of like gets out of the cam if you will like that and then uh, that's you know that's it um, so it does still make that noise he and I have verified that I like I said I can't record that for you really there's just no way of doing it uh, I'm sure that uh, the alarm works because Dynatrack tested that and uh, yeah, he put a lot of work into this. It looks fantastic. I love it. It looks better than showroom. The light in the clock, which obviously you can't see with the with the daylight, but it's there, and it never was that good. So yeah, it's all back. It's back together. It has been restored. It looks beautiful. My mother had this, like I was saying, for many years, and then one day she decided that she wanted an actual digital clock with the LED display, and it had a radio on it, and I have no idea if she still has that, or if it's still there, or anything like that, um, but this was just put into disuse, and there was a room upstairs in the house that my grandmother used to stay in on weekends, but I started filling that room with old TVs and VCRs and a whole bunch of other stuff I'd find thrown out back in the day and fix what I could and whatnot. And on the radio here in the New Yick area, we used to have CD 101.9, Smooth Jazz. 
and that was a great station and this radio was like permanently tuned to that for a long time uh, I had plugged it in I set the time I used to fix it for daylight savings time and all that stuff but then I decided that I just you know forgot about it for a while and as such it sat there and then one day I looked at it and I said is that the time really and I looked at another clock and I said no it's way off and it sure was because the clock had stopped but it still sat there and the radio worked on it and I used it for that for um, many years still that way and then you know it made its way back to my house here and I said, yeah, there's got to be a way, because I tried fixing it and didn't have any luck, and it did require a parts unit, so I certainly either fucked something up royally, or um, it was beyond repair, which I think really is kind of what it was. And now it's back. There's nothing special about it. It's just a clock radio. The only thing special about it is that it's a lot of things, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I just said there's nothing special. It's wood grain, LGR approved. Um, definitely 1980s looking, with hints of the 1970s, especially on that radio dial. There's something about that that just really screams 70s right there. Uh, so there's that. And the fact that it's not a flip clock, but a barrel clock as such, where the numbers flip over. It's like the one away game on Price is Right, you know, where they flip the numbers to the blue or the red from the black. Gentlemen, do I have at least one number right? You know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, that's good. So let's get one more nice shot of the clock and uh, then we'll close this out. So that's it, the restored 1980 GE alarm clock, whatever model number it was, it's in the title. Huge, huge thanks to Dynatrack for putting all that time and effort into this, sourcing a parts donor, and of course uh, repairing the unit, cleaning it all up nice, and just making it look fantastic to the glory it once was, well, over 40 years ago fantastic I love it this clock is gonna be 43 years old next year that's pretty cool that something from that time is still around and yeah like he said in the note uh, this should provide me with many more years of enjoyment and I think uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, piping the shoutcast into FM just using, you know, I've had pretty good luck with these little car radio things. Now, I have a huge FM transmitter that will definitely get the FCC knocking on my door. So I could do that and broadcast for blocks, but not for very long. <laughs> these actually have pretty good range. So I'm wondering if just a couple of them around, maybe even one, depending, this nice centrally located one, might do good for the FM radios that I never really listened to, but might be good. You know, there's always thoughts in the future, like, what if I get a shed? I'm going to want music in the shed, right? Well, this would be excellent. I don't listen to standard FM anymore because it's all commercials. Um, but, you know, and there's no good music on it anymore anyway, unless you find a station, but, you know, and then come Christmas time, it's all that shit, and, you know, I do not do that at all. That's about as bad as country. Uh, maybe, I think even worse. I think I can tolerate a country song or two, but 
that's really it. Anyway, enough rambling. Huge, huge thanks to Dynatrack. Great guy. Put in all this time and effort. By the way, Clock Radio Twerps, this is not free, okay? There are costs involved with this. I had to ship it. I had to pay shipping back. Cost for a, a parts unit. So there's that cost. Plus some money for Dynatrack for his time. Come on. This is not free. This restoration probably costs more than this thing did new. But then when you do the inflation calculator, it's probably less <laughs> than it would have cost because of how uh, inflation is these days. Anyway, enough rambling. Great clock. Looking great. Working great. Thank you once again to Dynatrack. If you have not seen his restoration videos on this, there are links in the prescription. There is also a link directly to his channel, so you can subscribe. Help the guy out. All he does is put out good quality content, just like you've known from the JK18 channel. So, great guy. I'm pleased to know him, and uh, this was a huge pleasure. So, huge thanks once again, Dynatrack. This is really great, because it is... Something from my childhood that's back. Uh, now that I'm an old fart. But anyway, that's what happens in life. And one day, I'll be too shaky and won't even be able to turn it on anymore. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks again. I really appreciate your watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Subscri ah, I just fucked up that ending. Make sure you subscribe to Dynatrack. Link in the description, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.